Welcome. I'm going to show you how to edit the mug mockup in Photoshop. So first, if you don't see the layers panel here, go to Window, Layers to bring it up. And then to insert your design, you first want to click this little arrow icon in the mug layer and expand that layer group. And then you want to double click the thumbnail icon in the design dash layer. Make sure that you know you click next to here and the eye icon is on. And that's going to open up the smart object where we can copy and paste your design. We'll go to file open and find the design. And then once that opens, we'll go to Select All, then Edit, Copy, and click back on the Smart Object tab and go to Edit, Paste. Now you might need to resize your design. So just go to Edit, Free Transform. In newer versions of Photoshop, you just need to click on any of the four corners and just drag. Dragging out will make it bigger and dragging in will make it smaller. In older versions of Photoshop, you needed to hold down the shift key to keep it from getting distorted. So if it's getting distorted while you're dragging, just go to edit, undo and then do the opposite of whatever you were just doing, whether that's holding down the shift key or not holding it down. And once you've got that size, you can just go to File, Save. Okay, and we'll just click the X to close the Smart Object. And we can close the original design. And we'll see how it put it on the mug for us, just like that. Now to change the colors of like the handle or the rim, just click on the layer that says color dash. For instance, if we want to change the color of the inside and rim, we'll just double click the thumbnail icon in the color dash inside and rim layer. And then you can just click in this rainbow slider anywhere here. And then click inside this box to change the lightness and darkness of the color. You can also enter the color values in any of these places if you know them. I'm going to press Command C. I'm going to highlight this uh, number and press Command C to copy it would be control C on a PC. And then I'm going to click this little box to make sure that the color for the handle is on and I'm going to double click the thumbnail icon in the color dash handle layer. And then I'm going to go to this box and highlight that number and press command V to copy the color. It would be control V on a PC. If your design is especially, you know, bright or dark, you might need a little more shading on the mug. So there's this layer here called More Shading. You can just click the box next to it to uh, turn that layer on. And then you can click on the More Shading layer. And then click the down arrow next to Opacity. And just drag the slider to the right to make the shadows darker or the left to make them more subtle. You can also adjust the shadows underneath the mug by clicking the little arrow in the shadows under mug layer to expand it and then clicking on either of the shadows and then just clicking the down arrow next to opacity and dragging the slider to the right or the left. And uh, depending on which mock-up you purchased, you might have different backgrounds. So you can see what those are by just 
clicking this little arrow to expand the backgrounds layer group and then if you if you have multiple backgrounds you can just you know click the eye icons on and off to toggle through them and choose one you want and then when you're all done you just need to save it so to do that go to file save as if you're using this as a thumbnail on a website like Etsy, you'll want to save a JPEG for the thumbnail. So you just click this little drop down menu next to format here and change it to JPEG and then click save. You could also save a layered PSD file if you want to keep one on file. Maybe just clicking in here and then changing the name and then clicking save. Please let me know if you have any questions by messaging me at melissabmockups.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you'll get updates to future videos. And as always, this mockup and other mockups are available at melissabmockups.com. Thank you and have a great night.